Well, we're with Kathy Raley after a big win today over St. John Fisher. 11-10 was the final. And first of all, I just have to congratulate you on that and give me an overall thought on this big win. You know, it, it, it's just I knew all along since we came back in the middle of January that this team was something special. And I was trying to do my very best to be patient as they worked through some things. I can honestly say I wish I was surprised with our performance today, but it is not a surprise to me. We practice like what you saw today nearly every day. We do such amazing things. The hurdle this year was performing 60 minutes. We went out there, and every minute felt like it was the first minute of the game. We're playing hard. We're doing what's in the game plan. I just It all came together today, and I could not be happier for this team. They deserve it. They earned it. And everybody did their job from, from on the sideline to the coaching staff to, to the people that were out on the field, some that saw a minute, some that saw 60 minutes. Um, when you put together a full game like that, I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. <laughs> so, <laughs> Well, and I think your players are going to do the same thing. But, oh, absolutely. And, you know, you made a comment that was interesting before we came on air that you, we have two players who we're going to talk to in just a minute. You could have brought 10. You could have brought 15 players here today. I absolutely could have. Um, you know, the, the, from the midfield back defensively, like I, I saw defense out of our midfielders today that was just the best they've ever played. I saw, um, you know, containing um, some of their top players, St. John Fisher. We played great on-ball defense. I could have picked anyone. Sophie did her job in the cage. Oh, um, just came up big when she was supposed to. Never let one goal affect the next save. And when you have a goalie that can, can quickly turn around and have a goal go in and then make a save right after that, you know you have a mentally strong goalie, which is just puts us as coaches at ease. Short memory yes, absolutely yeah. is absolutely imperative. Yeah. Um, I also want to talk about the defense in front of her, though, as you just mentioned, protecting the eight today. I thought you did a tremendous job with that. Thank you so much. You know, Annie Kopecki, uh, Kirsten Foster, Kara Yaruso, Caitlin Kozlowski, Jabin Hall, um, you know, we just, and, and we're going to speak to the, one of the people that's um, coming up, Taylor, Taylor Wibbekin, just so, so amazing at doing their jobs, but helping each other. I don't know, you know, if you're watching from home or watching from the stands, I could feel the energy on the sideline and the support and the belief in one another. Um, and that's what makes a difference when you play big games, and uh, they have arrived. So let's go from the defense to the offense now. We talked about how you guys protected oh, the eight. One more person. Oh, Brad absolutely. Mitchell. Sorry. Hannah Ash mm. crushed it on number four, like just did an amazing, amazing job. I, don't, I didn't mean to forget her. <laughs> oh, my gosh, she did so well. So <laughs> I think the Ashes are going to yes. appreciate that. <laughs> yes, yes, sorry about that. Um, saving the best for last, maybe? I don't know. But, yes, she, we're so happy. So, offensively, you obviously revolve around Murphy and Blick, but mm -hmm. you had so much complimentary around Caroline Murphy and McKenna Blick today. Yeah. Talk a little bit about who helped out there. You know, seeing, seeing Mary Mark um, really rise to the occasion today, um, I know she believes she has a magic stick, but I'm just telling you the, this girl's heart is enormous. And to see her put together what we've been trying to have her do in a way that was confident, I, I saw Mary have fun out there today. And that might be the first game I've seen Mary truly have fun from start to finish. And that, a fun Mary, is, a just, <laughs> is just so fun to watch. Um, Caitlin Kozlowski with just, she had, I think she had back-to-back -back goal. Like, she's Not just ripping it. Yeah. yeah, so, so you know, just to see, you know, we always can count on Caroline Murphy. We always can count on McKenna. But we had shots from every single person out there. They were good takes. We really put their goalie to the test, too. She was a good goalie. Um, so I'm really proud of the just overall effort. You. Well, we're going to talk to a fun yes. Mary Mark yes. in just a couple of minutes. Yes. A couple of things, though. I want to talk about team conditioning. Mm -hmm. This was your fourth game, mm -hmm. and I don't think you guys stepped off of the pedal at any mm -hmm. time during the game. This was their first game. They're, uh -huh. they're, they're a good team. Yes. I mean, they're going to be one of the top teams in the country yes. again. But I did think that your conditioning, because you had three games under your belt, and you played other teams that have mm -hmm. other color jerseys, mm -hmm. helped you in the second half today. Well, I definitely – you could hear them doubting themselves um, – in on the field so when we were you know when, when their defensive end was in front of our bench you could hear them they were they were um uh not happy with the way they were playing and and i think 
think what will grow with St. John Fisher is that they will grow in how to fix their problems. Today, we were able with our game experience to capitalize on their problems and, and turn one goal into two. Um, I, you know, I'm just, I'm just, we took them out of their defense that they wanted to play. We took them out of it early. Then we were scoring in their man, then back scoring in their, in their high pressure. Um, everything they threw at us, we had an answer for. So, so that says a lot about the IQ of, and maybe it is four games. Maybe we just have a really smart team. So, so I'm really proud of that. Finally, it doesn't get any easier. Mary Washington next week, another tough test. You are home. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what do you take away today, and how do you look towards next week? Well, every team we play is so very, very different. Mary Washington, always a storied program, always fantastic. They're always really well conditioned. So, um, you know, we'll go back. It's a daily grind. We'll watch. I'll watch film tomorrow. I'll meet with the coaches on Monday. We'll start back at practice next week. Um, you know, we did give them a, a day off this past week, and I think that was helpful. And we may do the same thing this upcoming week because I think right now um, we're at a point that we want to celebrate and we want to go right back to what's next. We have to have that attitude. What's next? So it's funny yes. you say that because my mm. partner, Canty Bailey, yeah. in the post game, she said 24 hour rule. Yes. Celebrate this one for sure. Absolutely. But come back and get ready. Yeah, Th- this team, this team will grind. They just, they are, they are nonstop hard working in the weight room, in the classroom. You know, I, I don't ever have to worry about top effort. But today, the emotions were in check and the IQ was in check, and that's wh- how you beat a top five team. Gotcha. Yes. So we're going to let you go Thank you. because you've got some celebrating to do. I do. <laughs> I'm going to wait for them. Yeah, yeah. And, and these young women are going to come on together? Yes. Or, come okay, on together. We'll come on together. Thank we'll do you that. So much. A- Thank you. Really nice to see you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank Mary you. Mark Thank will be you. on my left. And Tyler or Taylor? Taylor. Taylor on my